I have something really cool for you today. This is a new electric scooter from Mukata brand. This should be a really, really fast, compact scooter. Let's unbox it first and see what we got here. Look at this packaging. So we have some stuff here. I believe tools, extra tubes, charging, cables, fenders, and this should be the chargers. Cool packaging, look at this. Let's see what's under. This is a cool looking scooter. I like the gray color and we have extra front pouch. So this is the extra stuff that came in the box. We have extra tire, two tubes, two very nice uh, fenders and a set of tools. The scooter came fully assembled. The frame is wide but very compact. The entire scooter weighs only 80 pounds or 36 kilograms. Let's take a closer look. All right guys, before we start testing the scooter, let's go around and see close-ups and see the details. There's a lot of cool stuff in this new model. So let's take a look at the handlebars. We have these grips, this yellow greenish accent. Hard way to secure them. I like these grips so you can you know, rest your palm here on longer rides. I haven't seen this before. I think V-Set uh, also has them. So we have the horn and we have the single and dual motor option. We have this twist uh, ring, so you can twist them and you can fold the handlebars. Big display. And we have a new throttle here. So I haven't seen this on any other scooters. And uh, it's good that you can comfortably, you know, uh, use it and you have the brake right under. So let's say if you like those under throttles, I think this is better. But what you can do here, maybe flip it under and have it like that on this side. I think that can also work or switch so it's under and you press under the brake and lift the brake higher. So the way it is, for me, it's comfortable. I can bring it lower and have more comfortable uh, fit. And it's good that you can use the brakes and the throttle very fast if you like aggressive riding. We have nut brakes, hydraulic nut brakes, the same as NAMI, very good brakes. And here in the front, very nicely organized cables. I like that. And to power it on, you have to press the button here, the screen comes on, and you have this uh, fob key. You touch it and the scooter is on. I don't think the brightness is maximum and I have this plastic feel on top, so I have to remove that. I'm not going to remove that because when you touch the, the screen, you might tend to, you know, uh, scratch it if you're fast, so leave it there. Uh, but uh, not sure how the camera catches up, but I can see the information very well and I'll play later with the menu and increase the brightness. We have a very sturdy stem. No play, no movement at all. Wire is nicely hidden here. A new mechanism, we'll check in a second. Look at that. And we have dual suspension, spring, coil in the front and dual in the back. And we have two charging ports, nice LED light on the side. It's super bright today, so I don't know if you can see it in the camera. In the nighttime, it looks amazing. 10 by 3 inch pneumatic tires. The wheels housing dual 1400 watts hubs. Total nominal power 2800 watts. This model is equipped with 60 volt system, and you have two options 20.8 or 25.6 amp hour battery capacity. In my case, I have 20.8 amp hour battery capacity. Constructed with Samsung high capacity lithium ion cells. I did not open the scooter, so I don't know what controller they use, but we'll test the controls, the power delivery, the torque later on. On the website, it states 32 amps controller can climb easily slopes up to 30 degrees. We have this custom swing arms with some indentation here, nice uh, touch, nice detail here. But I like the rear suspension construction. Look at the arms, how they bend around the suspension, and it's really different. In person, you have to see it, it's so cool. The engravings here on the side, all this like different colors, the horn very loud and also on the front. If you look at the structure, it's really cool, it's so different than other scooters. And the fender, 
if you don't like the way it looks here you can just push it backwards under or completely remove it so it looks like a regular scooter but I kind of like uh, the design and you have so much adjustability here really cool and what I like here on this model when you turn uh, the handlebars other models have this opening here and the water splashes through here is covered very nicely done suspension in the back has all this adjustability almost an inch and a half and you can go all the way to the top to the bottom the thread is almost all the way here down so far stock the way it came very comfortable a lot of travel nice kickstand all right so this is a scooter guys uh, let's uh, power it on and uh, let's test ride and see how it performs all right let's see what this uh, model can do acceleration it is insanely powerful shit the acceleration is insane cool, but let's see the top speed i'm gonna wait for the red light and there we go So it goes in cruise control after three to four seconds and uh, as you can see the GPS adjusts a little bit slow but it's correct speed so in a tunnel I don't have connection but you saw 48 49 miles an hour which is more than enough and for this size and for this acceleration this is insane guys this thing is just a beast let's test uh, in the first and second speed single and dual still so is like crazy first speed dual mode still torquey So 21 uh, miles an hour, let's go to third speed single. Second speed, single mode. Yeah, very smooth. More than enough speed, I think. 20 miles an hour, that's great. 20 actually, 4. 25. 26. Also going up hill in the second speed single mode, it's not bad at all, still powerful. Okay, this is the first speed uh, single mode, 20 miles an hour. A range test. I was riding extremely aggressively, pushing to the max possible. In Central Park I was killing it, it is so much fun to ride this scooter off road, it is insane. You have to try this. I had the best fun for a while. The battery though is draining really fast in dual mode when it pushed it to the max, but I was still able to cover 18.6 miles and I weighed 225 pounds. I had a small backpack, so total weight about 235 pounds. The results are great considering how hard I rode it. In a single mode with speeds between 15 to 25 miles an hour, 
I got between 30 to 40 miles in range, depending on how aggressively I was pushing in different days. Just look at the details. Love this thing right here, the screen. The side lights are insanely bright. And look what happened when I press the brake lever. You get this rear red light. Look at this. This is the most powerful light I've seen on any electric scooter in $2,000 price range. Usually three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 scooters have more higher-end premium parts, right? But look at this. This is insane. Super bright light, very powerful. You see it's not super bright and from the back you can't really see it. So it would be nice to have a rear brake light right here like the RS5 so it's very visible and it needs to be brighter even from the side it's really dim the light you know the white light the strip is really powerful daytime nighttime but the brakes needs to be better that's the only negative here the side lights and the front light it's crazy powerful and move it around so you guys can see really hits far and it's a really wide spill it's more than enough to you know to ride in the dark you know in the nighttime on the trails where it's completely dark so when it comes to control the feel so even aggressive settings you have very comfortable range so much control after a couple of rides when you get used to it and if you want a smooth gradual acceleration uh, you go in a single mode and it feels like a sine wave controller very similar very intuitive very comfortable after a couple of days and the uh, maximum aggressive uh, acceleration and top speed you have so much control so much range you get used to it and it's just like you want to go and drive this uh, scooter to the max the handlebar it's extremely wide it is uh, 27 and a half inches and we don't have a steer dampener and it is very stable and you need one and what i like here is that you have this folding mechanism and it's actually pretty solid if you tighten this uh, rings uh, properly there's no movement at all so there's a lot of thread here it is spring loaded and you fold it down now with the handlebars folded it is so much easier to load it on the back of your car your truck you have the hook here to connect it is 80 pounds it's not light but lighter compared to performance you get out of this model compared to other scooters in 80 pounds or even 100 pounds weight class you have this notch here to connect the hook really well done you have this notch here they have to press it grabs the bottom part really cool mechanism differently done versus other scooters and you close it it connects here and latches out deck size it is about nine inch and a quarter 21 inches in length with the rest in the back seven inch and a half in length this is aluminum there's no uh, rubber here and this surface here this rubber it's so nice it's so grippy it'll be nice to see a small piece right here on top to increase control you know so your foot doesn't slide in the back and to the end of the stem it's 37 and a half and to the handlebars it's 41 inches here's the menu and we have three speed levels and here we can see miles, trip, voltage. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I wish we had notification for, let's say, single and dual. That'll help. And these are the best scripts. These are the most coolest scripts I've seen so far. This right here is the turning signal. It was so hard to find it on both sides. So when you press, the signal turns on front and back. And it's gonna turn off by itself after 13 flashes. How cool is that? And you get two high quality chargers included and each one of them is two amps. Brakes are fantastic and the suspension is really good. Plenty of settings for, for speed adjustment. You can go really fast, really aggressive, you can go very you know slow and you can have also a very punchy very gradual very controlled acceleration for me for third speed dual first day first ride it was like this is too much too much power and i'm not even pressing now too too much like look the battery is half and it just fix the front tire and it just spins the the wheel so it's crazy it took me an hour two hours to get used to it after that it's you know it's very controllable it's very comfortable it's really 
you know, engaging, so much fun. But if you want to have a very controlled, very gradual, very soft, very comfortable ride, you go to dirt speed, you know, single mode, and you have it. And you can cover 35 to 40 miles in range. I like aggressive riding, so for me, dual third mode, it's really like fits, you know, uh, my style of riding. And if I'm outside the city, if I need to get somewhere fast from point A to point B on a trail or a highway there's no, where there's no cars, I can just, you know, switch and go, which I like to have that option. Uh, but usually in the city, 25 miles an hour, third speed, single rear mode, that's more than enough. And uh, it's a lot of wind today, so on a better day, when it's a little bit, you know, slightly warmer and there's no wind, you'll get maybe a mile, two miles, maybe three miles faster results. I have now the off-road tires, so uh, it's not really, you know, comfortable and it doesn't feel confident to take very steep turns and you have to be careful when you accelerate fast right when you go really aggressive you put slick tires you put those pnts 10 11 inches you know i think they'll fit there up to 11. Uh, you can try if you have the the time and desire to switch i think you'll get so much more speed and you can go even more aggressive you can you know tilt more on the corners and you can really you know um, have fun going really fast. This is the fastest and the most aggressive, most powerful acceleration scooter and a 60 volt under 80 pounds model I have tried so far. If weight is not a problem and you have no space constraints, I will still choose Nami as the best scooter so far. That's my favorite. If you have a smaller car, a sedan where Nami will not fit or not much space in your apartment and you need a lighter scooter that has a lot of power, then this Makura 10 Plus will be the best pick for 2023. I am blown away by the quality and the power delivery. This model is insane and so stable at high speeds, no need to get a steer dampener, beautiful design and it comes with 25 months warranty. I would only like to see a rear brake light and the back of the footrest that is super bright. But besides that, everything else is perfect. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.